Let's say I needed to solve the modulus of x take away 5 over x plus 2 is equal to 4. Now, if we go along the same lines as what we've been seeing, what we want to do is we want to sketch the left-hand side, y equals the modulus of x take away 5 over x plus 2, and sketch y equals 4 on the same axes, and then figure out where they are intersecting. So let's try and sketch the graph of the left-hand side, ignoring the minus signs first. Okay? So ignore the minus, uh, sorry, not minus signs, the modular signs. Ignoring the modular signs. So, uh, first of all, x equals minus 2 is going to be a vertical asymptote. Because that would make the denominator 0. Now, when x is 0, we're going to get minus 5 over positive 2, so minus 5 halves. That's where we're crossing the y-axis. So, minus 5 halves. Now, where is it crossing the x-axis? Well, it crosses the x-axis when y is 0, which is when the numerator is 0. So that would be at x equals 5. And the last thing to consider with these is the horizontal asymptote. Now, you can find the horizontal asymptote easily by dividing top and bottom of your fraction by x. So x over x is 1, and then we've got 5 over x, then we've got 1 plus 2 over x. And the idea is that as x gets larger and larger and larger in either direction, positive or negative, these two fractions are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, and you're going to be left with 1 over 1. So y equals 1 is a horizontal asymptote. And so the curve must do something like this, and we'll be doing that for that portion of the graph. Now, remember, anything that is below the x-axis will get reflected up. So this piece of the graph is going to get reflected up um, and will look like this. So that part, that will be 5 halves now. And so this is what the graph will look like. Now, if I want to find where that intersects y equals 4, well, y equals 4 is going to be a vertical line up here. And so there are two points of intersection that I'm interested in. The first point of intersection here is where y equals 4 is intersecting the original part of the curve. So x take away 5 over x plus 2 is equal to 4. And this point is where y equals 4 is intersecting the negative part of the graph, the bit that was reflected up. So minus x take away 5 over x plus 2 equals 4. So let's solve this one first. Multiply up by the x plus 2. So x take away 5 is equal to 4x plus 8. Subtract the x from both sides. Subtract the 8 from both sides. And so we get x is minus 13 over 3. So that is minus 13 over 3. That's our first solution. Second solution, let's uh, multiply both sides by minus 1 first. Multiply it by the x plus 2. So minus 4x minus 8. Add the 4x to both sides. Add the 5 to both sides. And then divide through by 5. So x is equal to minus 3 fifths. That's that point there. So these are the two solutions to this modulus equation.